going live, but as everyone knows, it is already live. So I'm going to say, Hey, to you guys don't forget to check me out at twitter.com forward slash lore reloaded or twitch.tv forward slash lore reloaded. Been doing some stuff on both. Hope to see you guys there. I know there haven't been some alerts for Twitch, so make sure that's set up appropriately. Uh, so a lot of people talking, I've had this up for a little bit of time so that we can, uh, have uh, a, a bit of conversation. A couple of things I'm going to put out there just to begin with. First off, uh, this is right now, some things are in flux and it could be, I don't want to say an overreaction, but perhaps uh, CBS being confusing as all get out. Uh, the other thing I want to say too is I've seen it and it's just, it is on the... Um, it's just sad at this point. So guys, the rumor when it comes to licensing and everything like that has been disproven. If you think that the licensing thing still exists, you're literally on par with anti-vaxxers and no longer worth time. Please just do some more research. As everyone knows, Iggy Pop is definitely a part of everything I have to do now going forward, which is just a fun-filled uh, day for me. So... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just start with it. Now, I went ahead and shared it, and it is in the description, but I will share it one more time. There was a video that came out today on StarTrek.com. Ironically, you would think I would be exceptionally happy about this because I have never been a fan of the continuity of Discovery uh, being a part of canon, but... Um, there may be a change or a shift moving canon outside of what we have right now. Now, in that video we're taking a look at, they have the entire timeline, the entire canon of what is supposed to be uh, considered real or actually there, right? Uh, if you take a look at it, this is, here, this is it right here. This is the video that launched today saying that this is the timeline. Now, let's be fair. At the end of it, they also say to be continued. So there's going to be more added to it. But when you take a look at this timeline uh, officially put out by CBS, the one thing you do notice that isn't there would be discovery when everything else is. So there's a couple of theories to this and the Star Trek Twitter was actually pinged about this, you know, where's discovery. And they said the same thing that this video says, uh, which is to be continued, but I wouldn't honestly would not be surprised if they decided to remove discovery from all continuity. Uh, if they just opted not to have it there anymore. Uh, and again, what's intriguing is when you look at this, the alternate timeline is even there. They show where it splits off and everything and then how the continuity. This uh, blows the water out of anti-Trekkers theories as well as any other. It shows they're all in canon. They're all a part of continuity. It breaks them all down. Uh, still may not make sense, but they that's what they're going with. Uh, yeah. So I kind of wanted to uh, discuss that and go through it. Now, before we continue too much, there is a different one that they were showing. I believe it was at Las Vegas or it may be in the museum. I could be wrong. They did have another one up, which was this one right here, which includes Star Trek Discovery, as you can see the addition in it. And... Uh, this was the live action. Now, what that could mean, in theory, is that they just decided to do a re-upload of the original series, the uh, Nostalgia Trek, as I like to put it, and uh, just got lazy and are going to do like a follow-up. So like basically any YouTuber ever on the face of the planet. I could see that I could see them doing that, if I'm being quite frank with you guys. But I just got to be honest, I find this entire thing like incredibly frustrating and I'm not sure why. Again, I would be one of the happiest guys if Discovery wasn't a part of the canon or continuity, if it was its own timeline. It makes everything 
make more sense. By the way, if you guys are watching this, there's 133 people watching, 135, only 31 likes. Hit that like button. Don't be scared of it. It's more scared of you than you are of it. But I'd be curious. What are your guys' opinions? Where you, where would you like to go with that? Uh, what would you guys like to see? And what do you think's going on? Because a lot of people are saying that it's just uh, CBS being lazy, which I could see. But there's millions upon millions of dollars. So if this is them being lazy, it is, again, just sad, in my opinion. The other thing that kind of is frustrating, too, though, is if you look how much work they put into making Discovery try to fit with continuity uh, while still breaking it. So the names that are utilized, the tie-ins that they attempt to do while still doing their own thing. They tie into every series. Uh, Enterprise, TNG, Discovery, Deep Space Nine, all of them come in at one point or another. It is more, and the animated series, and it is more heavy uh, towards TNG and the animated series, in my opinion. Um, but again, it's, I don't know. Gareth Fairclough saying, I think it's just laziness, honestly. First time I've seen a stream says Oni Chant. Well, that's why we're here, Oni Chant, for you, because I knew you would do it. Could be something an intern was told to put together and they just went, meh, that'll do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but it, it would be beyond, not beyond, it would be, I guess, par for the course the more I think about it. But they put so much money into this. Why wouldn't they just do it right the first time? Why would they go out of their way just to do a to be continued? Now, to be fair, this could be a marketing ploy, which is obviously working. They got me here. I was supposed to be uploading uh, a different video today, but now I'm here talking to you lovely people and getting Star Trek Discovery out and uh, discussing if it's still a part of the, the canon, a part of the timeline. So in theory, they may have actually done what they set out to do. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I can't see someone being that gets paid being that amazingly, uh, oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, I don't want to say dumb, but again, lazy, I guess. I hate having to reuse the word lazy, but that's honest to God, just what it comes down to. You know? We got Yosef Petrick helping out the channel. Thank you so much. You guys know that's how I keep the lights on. I did my part. I hit the like. Show me the kitty. I don't know where the cat is, but hopefully the cat will be here somewhere. You think Discovery was bad with canon? The animated series would be even worse. Yike. There was a reason it was considered non-canon for so long. I hate the animated series. I cannot stand it. The fact that it is considered canon is an abomination before the Lord, in my opinion. Star Trek Picard may not be on this timeline either because it's Kurtzman production. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, the Picard thing I'm not really looking at all that much for the moment because it's not it's not live yet. So they wouldn't be inserting it into the canon. They may have been. Uh, they may have done that on purpose. But not including, uh, like, uh, what is it, Lower Decks and the um, Picard isn't, isn't something that really concerns me i do see discovery as as a big takeaway though minimal effort maximum return that's business maybe enterprise made sure the romulan cloaks were far above that of the syllabons and the klingons never had discovery made klingons have cloaks centuries before the original series uh, you know enterprise still is very contradictory to the original series they were not uh they were not very um not very good with continuity either sc you can't get mad at me your boy uh ketwalski your girlfriend uh agrees with it so you really can't get you can't disagree with me he's the one that brought it to my attention did you see hulu live tv jumped in price 22 percent to 55 dollars starting next month maybe cbs all access isn't overpriced after all i didn't see that and i won't be playing i won't be paying 55 dollars for hulu at all <laughs> Bird of Prey says, I'm sorry, I no longer believe CBS has moral authority to sidetrack canon. They lost that right with Star Trek Discovery. The 25% is real. It's real. I wrote it. The 25% is not is is definitively, I mean provably not real. Again, you're you're on you're on the scale of uh, anti-vaxxers. That said, I 
they they have the ability. They have the legal and ethical and moral ability. I just don't think they're good with it, and I don't think they care. I, honest to God, um, don't think they care about continuity. They care about the bottom line. And we started seeing that in Star Trek Discovery. We started seeing that in Star Trek Enterprise. Um, that said, if people want to turn on them and say that it's not considered, then I wouldn't be... Uh, you know, I don't blame people for that. Uh, again, it's part of the channel, and the way the channel works uh, is the reason why I stick with it, or I would just ignore Discovery altogether as well. Will Picard be on Netflix? No, Picard won't be on Netflix. What uh, In the United States. It may be in Europe. I don't know. What is the canon that you speak of, and how can I make money off of it? CBS has been doing that. They have... Uh, Enterprise at least was faithful. Eh, Enterprise was decently faithful. Um, they had some issues, uh, phase cannons, photonic torpedoes, uh, cloak. These things break cannon. They break continuity. Uh, not, not to the degree though. The 25% isn't a real thing. Oh my God. You guys are saying it just to trigger me now. It'll be on Amazon. I don't think... I don't think Picard's going to be on Amazon. I could be wrong about that. My understanding is Picard is going to be on CBS All Access only, and then for Europe, it'll be somewhere different. In Europe, Picard will stream on Amazon. Okay, that may be true. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm just talking about the United States. You know what would be a good way to avoid the majority of canon issues? Stop making pre Oh, man, to God, from your from your mouth to their ears, but they, ain't, they, um, they are not doing that. Mr. Miles, Chief Engineer, you and me need to get together sometime, man. I need to look at how you do your editing. I'd be interested in seeing uh, your process. So I need to hit you up sometime. Discovery, I think, works a lot better as its own distinct timeline. So does Enterprise, really. I, you know, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I, here's, here's my problem with this entire ordeal. Uh, Discovery being in its own timeline or being a part of their... Um, the Kelvin timeline, the JJ verse. I don't hate that. Uh, what what frustrates me though is that they, for years, have said that this is continuity, this is canon, and we have attempted to bend over to make it work, to walk through, to go through all of this, and it was all just a waste of everybody's time. Just just absolute way. As if they take it out, it's a waste of everybody's time. And it also shows that they just don't have a backbone, that they just want to make money and they're doing whatever anybody wants them to do. CBS, I, I in my opinion, would lose all respect when it comes to that. Um, I would agree that Enterprise having its own timeline would make more sense as well. Continuity has always been a thing that has been an issue. Uh, continuity issues within TNG, even within the same season where the uh, Klingon Empire goes from being a part of the Federation to not within the same season. Uh, DS9 had issues with it. Voyager just said to, he to heck with it in some instances. And then Enterprise, it slowly got worse. It, it slowly got worse until Discovery just amped it up to 11. Enterprise, while not great in Season 1 and 2, got pretty decent in Season 3 and good to great in Season 4 despite continuity issues. Uh, that can be said of a lot of the shows. Uh, most all of them uh, are like that, where the first and second aren't really liked, but the third, fourth, and fifth really get into their own. Lose all respect, so they have nothing left to lose. That is true. Like a show to continue off the extended novel timeline. Typhoon Pack. No more Borg, Voyager, back in the Delta Quadrant. Why is Voyager back in the Delta? I don't remember that in the Typhoon Pact. Honestly, Enterprise is a great Kelvin prequel. That and honestly, First Contact leading to Enterprise would make a lot of sense. Yeah. I think that's an anti trekkers thing, isn't it? I don't know. Again, let me show it to you guys because I know there are some new people joining. By the way, if you're watching this, let's see if we can get the likes up to 100 likes. Come on, don't be scared of it. This is the timeline that was released today. This is the timeline released by CBS at StarTrek.com. This is what they're saying. This is what it is. Uh, we do see a to be continued at the end of it uh, that they may try to add stuff in. But this specifically is what they're saying. Hey, when you look at the timeline, this is what exists. Now, this does blow anti uh theory out of the water. It shows all of them are are together and consistent. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not a good theory or you can't make it your own headcanon. I'm just, a lot of people bring that up. Um, the one thing you'll note that isn't here, though, is Discovery. A lot of us have been discussing how this could just be laziness on their part, where they just had this and they threw it up and they're going to be doing 
uh, something else. And uh, something that comes up that was just pointed out, there are some series on here, at least one, that is on par or worse than uh, Discovery, in my opinion. And that would be the animated series. The animated series is just garbage continuity-wise. It, it, them adding that back is silly. Uh, Star Trek Online has never been considered hard canon uh, at all. So the the line from the devs has been, it's canon unless it shows up on screen and then it's not. Now here's, yeah, there's no Picard here either. But again, there, Tess has been canon for quite a while, uh, Des and Killer. It's been canon for years now. Uh, now, when talking about Picard or Lower Decks, I don't get too upset about that because those shows aren't out yet. And so where they fit in or how they fit in could possibly be spoilers too. So why would they include those? Discovery has already been out and they said that it's in canon and continuity. Now, here's the, again, here's the interesting piece. This is at the museum. And if you notice on this one, you have Discovery included. They, uh, they borrow, so here's, here's the current theory, or the current thesis, if you will, that a lot of people are saying that it was just lazy, that they re-uploaded uh, an old video. And so that's why you don't see it and that's why there's a to be continued they'll redo it or something like that it could also be a ploy to have some uh marketing which works because i'm sitting here talking about it and 180 of you guys are sitting here and listening to me talk about it right so it, it definitely could be something that was an appropriate way of getting people's attention so there is definitely that as a possibility games books uh, comics, etc., are beta canon. They are. That is accurate. But one of the reasons that I'm here, one of the reasons that we do this entire thing is as a discussion. So I'm open to what you guys uh, think when it comes to all of this and where you want it to go. Uh, I know probably based on this channel and who watches this channel, most people would be fine with Discovery just not existing or not being a part of the canon or continuity. Um, I don't like that it is canon. I'll be honest with you. I think that they're disrespectful to continuity. I think they take everything up to 11. So that's my personal opinion on it. But if they removed it at this point, I think I'd be a lot more frustrated with it too, because we, we went out of our way just accepting it, just having these discussions, just being working towards trying to understand or, or building the lore around it for them just to throw it away. It's just an obvious money grab in my opinion. Uh, I truly think that star Trek we know and lore has no place in today's TV audience. The audience has changed. Could get, could you give me your opinion on that? Nidia? Um, thank you so much for, um, the Super Chat. By the way, guys, the way I keep the lights on is through Patreon supporters, through Super Chats, through members. I've been doing a big push. Uh, consider becoming a member. Just hit the join below. Get all the, the perks of a Patreon. Um, I truly think that the Star Trek we know and love has no place in today's TV audience. I think that there's no... I would agree. I've actually said this on several different in several different formats. I do believe that the audience today is not the audience of TNG, Deep Space Nine, or Voyager. Uh, you could not do the next generation and it do as well as what we saw in uh, in those days. It just simply won't. It is a different audience. I completely agree with that. So could we have the same Star Trek? No, I don't think. I think nostalgia, that's why I call it nostalgia Trek. It's gone. I don't think it'll ever come back. Um, they would have the writing that they do now. That said, I think they could make it more like what nostalgia was. I don't think it has to be what you see right now. Uh, who was it? Uh, Red Letter Media said that they burnt themselves out doing stuff like that. That's why the JJ verse, uh, the movies slowly declined is because they went too far with it. I think you could do something cerebral. I think you could do something that is in the vein of it, but the same, you'll never have the same again. That's gone. Michael could guide Picard and visions like data. Okay. Michael 
Hey man, what I haven't missed? What's been retracted? So Michael could guide Picard in visions. Uh, not a banned account. Do at lore reloaded so I can see it. I'm not sure what you're referring to there. I mean, maybe. Hey man, what have you missed? What's retracted? A video, and we've talked about this before, a video recently came out that is showing the entire timeline. It includes everything that's been included, uh, but uh, does not include discovery. Now there is a to be continued, but we don't know what that means or why. By the way, Topher7527, thanks so much for becoming a member, for for joining. You get access to some very cool emoticons as well as a, a nifty different color and something next to your name. Pretty cool. Do you think the new Enterprise in 2399 or Enterprise, do you think they be a new Enterprise? We're not going to see the Galaxy class. I know they said that. Um, there was a... There was a interview with Picard and I forget if he was just referencing the Enterprise D he did see talk to you later Sinbad he did specifically say that there wasn't going to be the Enterprise but I don't know if he meant just the D or if it was going to just the D, or if it was going to be uh the Enterprise overall I'm honestly not sure hey can you turn that down to 10 for me please baby <clears throat> I mean for me Discovery is a different timeline sure and I can definitely understand that um, hey, girl, one second, guys. Thank you, baby. You can still hear it. Just turn it down a little bit, okay? If you can't hear it, let me know. The Orville is the closest thing that we have come to 90s era Star Trek. Notice how it caters a little bit to current de uh, demographics, but also provides high quality TNG era type stories. Yeah, but I honestly, the, the thing about Orville is that it is somewhat of a comedy. And I think they still keep that vein to a degree. So I don't know that you could have, I think that if it had Star Trek Orville next to it, I think people would be far more critical of it uh, going away from its more serious roots. I could be wrong on that, but that's just what I get, you know? I don't know. There is a hologram of the Enterprise D at Starfleet in Picard. Sure, but when I was talking about the Enterprise showing up, I meant the actual ship. Discovery may not be on it because it's not finished airing. The rest of those shows have. Might also be the reason for the to be continued. I don't think that's the reason at all. Uh, I mean, maybe you could make that argument, but then why did they include it previously? Because that wasn't the first one that they ever did it. For. Uh, as I showed beforehand, it was actually at the museum, it may still be there, where they have Discovery fitted right there. So you can say that it didn't, but it's quite obviously still a part of the timeline. They specifically removed it. Unless, again, they were being lazy. And I did not say that factual opinion at all. Uh, only reason I turned it down was because I didn't want to say her name. Uh, to be continued could mean they're going to make a new timeline. Yeah, there could be an alternate timeline before. Uh, remember at the end of Discovery when Spock requested all the logs, spore drive, and the ship people to be restricted to everyone except the high levels of the Fed? That's why it's not in canon timeline. That doesn't make any sense, Davey MLG. When you take a look at the what they released, some of that has been uh, classified. Some of that has been stated they can't talk about before, especially things like within the Big Bang or with TNG or Deep Space Nine. That doesn't make any sense at all. And again, this is real life taking a look at the timeline. It's not what a Starfleet officer would see. It's what you and I see. So again, I, that, that just for me doesn't make any sense either. I do kind of agree with that. I mean, whenever Orville does things that are different from Trek, I can dismiss it easily by saying, oh, going back to the Star Trek, Orville wouldn't work. I do kind of agree with that. I mean, whenever Orville does things that are different from Trek, I can dismiss it easily by saying it's the Orville and it's its own thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I like Orville, don't get me wrong. And I would love to see a Star Trek uh, series kind of more move in that exploring type thing. But, or vain, but I just don't think that, I think that if it was Star Trek Orville, I think uh, like the Phantom Menace and such would just, just rip it to shreds. I, I honest to God do. Um, I, I, because again, it, it's Orville, it's not Star Trek, you know? The only way they would, if they turned to Cryptic Studios and discussed ownership rights of the Odyssey class, New Private S, which I highly doubt. 
I don't know how that works. I think that could be interesting. Um, in theory, I'm live right now. In theory, uh, they could still use it because it's tracked. I don't. I don't know. I'd have to I see. I wanted to tell everyone and wanted to ask them a question. Okay. Um, do you want my channel to happen? Put A for amazing. That's yes. You do want to see my channel happen, or B for um, N for no. If you don't want to see my channel happen. Okay. We'll have to give it some time. Okay. So if they want to see you with a channel, A for amazing and N for no, right? Yes. Okay, you'll have to give oh, it some time. Yeah, real briefly. What's up? Um, you can get my hat for free or you don't go away. You have to see my channel right now or, or it's going to go away. Okay, you have to watch your channel or it's going to go away. Mm -hmm. Okay, go play, baby. Love you. Jacob Duchesne, Discovery is hard to take seriously as being in the same universe with Nostalgia Trek anyway. Seems like Michael Burnham, Mary Sue action fanfic to me. Yeah, I... So, yeah, I don't... She wants to do a channel so bad. I'm on the fence about that. If it did it, I would closely watch that. And I know YouTube would make sure that no one could ever do anything on it anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, but going back to the discussion we were having beforehand... It does seem like fan fiction. It really does. The way they write the focus on Michael. When they move away from Michael, it, it does a lot better. I think it it, uh, it is it can be really good episodes when it's more a focus on the crew, when it's more, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ensemble, when they're doing ensemble. I think it does a lot better. I would agree with that. Uh, the other piece is, again, the continuity breaks and just the, the disrespect, in my opinion. You know? I, I just, I don't know. I like to see an inverse of the old wagon. Uh, by the way, thank you so much, Sci-Fi Nation, for becoming a member. Stuff like that really helps out the channel. Uh, I'd like to see an inverse of the old wagon train to the stars concept. Beat up old Connie refit having to make a super long trip home. Yeah, but they've done they've done that so much. The will they ever make it home trope, I just think that's too much, you know? I don't know. Novels of Star Trek movies aren't considered canon. That is accurate, yes. Maybe it's just bait to keep people talking about keep people talking while Star Wars is getting saved by the Mandalorian and stop audience bleeding. Yeah, Leo Pledorian, we're we were talking about this. This may be um this uh this may be one of the um best ploys that they ever did right because let's say they already had this video created and they just threw it up and did the two could be continued at the end we could say that's lazy and we'd be right but the thing is is we're talking about it right i mean i've had up to 180 people 167 now watching me talk about this uh when i saw it I stopped doing the video I was going to do and decided to talk to you guys about it. So yeah, Star Trek is now back in the um, the limelight to a degree, at least to the small circles. Kat Walsky is going to be doing something on it. Dollars to Donuts, Trek Yards will have something on it coming up soon. So it may just be a uh, it may just be a, a ploy. And it worked if it was. Uh, SC, that vid is just lazy web journalism. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Which vid? Probably one of mine. Um, I will reloaded all the episodes of Disco Season 2 that I enjoyed the most were the ones that focused on characters other than Michael. Michael isn't a horrific character in ensembles. The problem with it is that they focus too much on it and they give her a god complex, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't think it's the actress because I've seen the actress in The Walking Dead and other things she's done. I've always liked her. Um, in season three, I think a lot of her stuff is just, ex I think she's an exceptionally beautiful human being too. But, you know, when was Trek cerebral? That's a very rose-tinted glass view of Trek. S Trek was very cerebral in The Next Generation. Like beyond, I mean, almost uh, to its detriment, cerebral. If you if you don't think it's um, if you don't think it is, I would say that's rose tinted on your side. Uh, I mean, a lot of the stuff they did involved trying to to break things down through diplomacy or through thinking through actions. There was one episode, I forget which one it was made, but he won by just having a diplomatic conversation. It, it's. Now, I'll agree when they got to Deep Space Nine and on, it, it still was cerebral to a degree, but uh, I don't think, um, 
I, I, you know, I, it still was cerebral to agree, but I would say not TNG levels for sure. And the original series, I think the original series had good moral and ethical dilemmas for the, for the age. Um, but I, uh, I don't think it was cerebral necessarily. Uh, Darth Raven, my cat's feeling better. Thank you so much. Yeah. He's, he's not sneezing as much. He's feeling a little bit better. Uh, Mark Salmonfink, Fink, helping out the channel. Hello, friend. Disco Meat Inferno. I, I get the joke. The English Drink. Holy Mangoes. I've just read the title of the stream. Fill me in as I've missed the beginning of the stream. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we've already discussed this, so I'm sure the people who have watched this all the way through may be getting a little frustrated with it. But um, there was a video released today. I mean, it's a fair question. There was a video released today that uh, has the timeline for all of Star Trek which is right here. And it's been, if you notice, there's no discovery there. I've actually, it's actually in the description. You can check it out. Now this is different from what they have at the museum, which is here where discovery is included. So basically they released a timeline. They said, everything's Canon, except it doesn't have discovery. Now it doesn't have Picard or lower decks either. But as I've said, I don't find that as significant because those aren't out yet. There has been the argument that because uh, Discovery is still an active show. That's why they didn't include it. So, I mean, I don't know. It comes to to know. We all must... Gareth Fairclough, helping out the channel. Thank you so much. We all must love the Blessed Burnham. Of course we must. It gets better when she isn't the end-all, be-all for sure. Yeah, I've, there are some... There are some... I mean, let's, let's be fair here. By the way, 190 people watching and only 139 likes. Hit that like button. But let's all be fair here. Um, there are episodes where I think she's decent. I think she's written all right. It's kind of like... She's kind of like... Uh, Oh, who she's kind of like Janeway in that regard where not, not as good when Janeway is written. Well, Janeway is just one of the most rocking characters ever. Uh, but there's a lot of times when I don't feel like she's written well. Uh, and there, that can be said for quite a few characters too. Uh, not just Janeway. Uh, I think that when they miss the beat on Picard, for instance, like Picard, I think is written well, pretty pretty consistently but when they miss the beat for picard oh man it's just it's bad right uh are you fine with potentially evil federation in star trek picard yeah i am so let me let me say this it depends on how they do it but let me say this i think that the federation and starfleet going evil possibly after the dominion war actually doesn't actually makes quite a bit of sense i really I honest to God do. I think that, um, that the, uh, the Federation or the soul of Starfleet would be something they'd fight over because the Dominion War changed the Federation, changed Starfleet so much. There was, I know relatively there wasn't a lot of death, but the dialogue, the, the show tries to tell us there was a lot of death. And if we accept what they say as at least the impact uh, then I would say that, um, I would say that Starfleet or the Federation going evil makes a lot of sense and could be very well written. Now, how they write it is really important. It can't just go evil. It can't just be something stupid. It can't be, um, they can't, if they do it where it's just like one admiral, that's just evil for the point of being evil. I think that that'd be a misstep. Uh, the entire ethos or the, the, the blood of Starfleet changing because of, you know, what happened. Let's, let's admit it. Uh, a lot of a lot of Starfleet officers died. A lot of the explorers, the, the people who were originally in Starfleet to be scientists and explorers, they died. They're dead. The people who joined Starfleet, who were being shoved up in the ranks, because if you watch DS9, you saw they were pushing people, they were getting people up in the ranks as fast as could as they could. Those were battle-hardened Starfleet officers. Those were soldiers. And so that would fundamentally change Starfleet. So yeah, I, I think that it could. Vash Rain, how do you feel about Tilly? I like her. It is one of the most... Um, it is one of the most uh, controversial takes I ever have, but I really like Tilly. I do. I think I think she's a wonderful character and a beautiful actress. Uh, beautiful, not only how she looks, but I, I love her personality, and I, I like who she is in real life. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I like the character. So, 
Discovery is great. Well, I'm glad you can enjoy Discovery. Your thoughts on the new Star Trek Picard uniforms? I think they're interesting. They don't really bother me. I'll be curious to see where they go with it. Can you give an example of Picard missing a real bad beat? Says Jacob Dish. Can I give you uh, an example of Picard having a real bad beat? The When he equates all people who are religious to being uh to uh being barbaric and to going back into mythos when he is basically a bigot uh is is when he is is a real bad beat of his and we see that uh season one season two for sure uh when he calls uh he calls soldiers from um specifically u.s soldiers but that doesn't bo- that it doesn't matter that's the united states when he calls people who wear who wear uniforms from soldiers silly costumes you know i don't i don't you know i i think those are really poorly put together i think that's when he misses the mark like dr- drastically uh the terran empire did nothing wrong no reason to change your mind they, that's just true a darker Starfleet would be inevitable as the longer something exists, the easier for its corruption to enter and destroy it like the Roman Empire. Well, and that's not out of, you know, Starfleet going darker isn't something out of uh, out of nowhere either. If you look at um, if you look at what what is it? Um, Nemesis, I think. If you look at Nemesis, we see that to a degree. And there's even some uh, deleted scenes where the Federation was trying to go like evil or and such, you know. So uh, Justice Ag, why didn't I read your comment? It's one of two things. Either I'm specifically ignoring you because I don't want to get into a debate with you and I, in fact, hate you. Or I have 170 to 190 people uh, commenting uh, almost every second. So it's one or the other. So which, whichever one you want to go with. If you'll repeat your comment, I will try to read it, though. Uh, factual opinion. Picard lets a race die because of the prime. Der- yeah, that's that's even worse. You're right. I don't even know why that didn't even come. Picard does let a race. He 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 looks he he simultaneously hates religion and is a bigot and calls everyone barbaric. And, you know, if you believe in religion, it's, it's just a myth and you're a bad person for doing it. Yet simultaneously treats the prime directive more he is more dedicated to that than the pope is to catholicism uh that's bad writing in my opinion uh do you think the dominion will be in uh discovery or picard i don't think the dominion will be in discovery i don't think it'll be in picard for some reason they seem to be wanting to stay away from um uh they um they want to stay away from deep space nine and i don't understand why um, I really don't. Justice Ag knows I'm giving him a hard time, by the way. I, I honestly, I just didn't see your comment, Justice Ag. I'm sorry if you could like redo it. I'll, I'll definitely take a look at it. I did was not on purpose. Uh, wouldn't want to skew the course of their development into a planet of corpses. Yeah, exactly. Um, hate on religion and yet the Klingon afterlife is real. I don't, I think that's one of the things that discover the uh, discovery Voyager actually did. Right. If you ask me, if I'm being honest with you, uh, we don't know that the Klingon after afterworld is real. That all could have been happening in her mind. There's no confirmation of it. Uh, and I like that. I like it. I think Voyager had some really good religious episodes. I mean, they had some that weren't, um, Justice Ag says it could also mean that there's going to be a broken timeline event like uh, Star Trek Infinity Crest. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It's possible where it breaks. I agree. I just, I hope they don't. I, I hope they keep it. Well, I don't know. Again, I'm so tore up about this. I guess maybe I spent the last year of my life professionally trying to put continuity together and trying to make, uh, trying to make discovery work for them all to say, you know what? We just don't care about it. Possibly. And I guess maybe that's my frustration. I don't know. Uh, Picard was willing to throw Native Americans from their newly adopted homeworld. That's another. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I think there is plenty of examples where Picard just misses the mark. You know, Uh, I think more than not, he does really well. But there, there are some pretty horrific points there. You know, the to be continued may simply refer to future projects like Picard, Captain Worf. I mean, maybe. Even you can't make Discovery go, yeah, I can't. 
Uh, I met someone at Destination Star Trek who had a theory for the Federation being gone in Discovery Season 3. He described it as the Roman Empire where the Federation just got so big it drifted apart. I could. You know, I I think they're going Andromeda. I really do. And I know that makes a lot some people mad. Uh, I think they're just taking the Andromeda timeline. I do. I didn't like what they did with the paw rates. Yeah, I don't like what they did with the... the <laughs> So you guys want to, I'll, I'll, so since it's just here, it's just, just us. So don't let this get out. But I uh, have a working theory that the entire Dominion War was orchestrated by the prophets. It literally all makes sense when you put it together. That the entire Dominion War, so much death and destruction, all done by the wormhole aliens. Not just the prophets, prophets and par race, the wormhole aliens. All because they had this little civil war. I think they were staying away from other Star Trek series is that they want to concentrate on something new for Star Trek. I don't hate that. Um, they do own, by the way, chief engineer miles, they do own Andromeda. They could, they could copy it beat for beat. They own the, the IP to that too. Um, what was I saying? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't, I, I don't Antonio Harvey. I can see them doing that and I could see why they want to be doing that, but that would just make them liars. You know? I actually mentioned, wrote a backstory on the Terran Empire. Yeah, I think you've told us about that, Bipolar. So Kevin Sorrow will be on Star Trek panels from now on. He will. He will. That's for true. He will. The pa the Prophets and Parates are the Vor Vorlons and Shadow Seas. They really are. When you look at it, man, um, it's really hard not to see how all of this was due to a civil war by the by the wormhole aliens. I'd like to see a post-Dominion War era where Section 31 becomes more prominent. You'll probably see that in um, in in the new Section 31 that's coming out. Uh, it'll be a long time after, though. I think they could have done more with Chakotay's religion, however. I, you know, I don't... I, Chakotay's religion was very... It was... It was the... For that time period, in that time period for me um there was i don't know everybody likes call me call, calling me their mother i don't know what's up with that there was a um i don't know how exactly to put it but there was a progressive movement that was very insulting in the way they did it and so that was part of Chakotay's whole thing. They made him Native American because they wanted to be progressive and they wanted to look, they wanted to check mark a box. And then they just throw a lot of Native, what they thought was a lot of Native American ideas up there. And it ended up being very disrespectful. And I think that was one of the unfortunate missteps. Andromeda is okay if other option is Earth Final Conflict. I don't know if they own Earth Final Conflict. I do think they will be going with the, the item. Mark my words on this, guys. Just mark it. Yosef Petrick calls me daddy. That's right. <sighs> yep. Gene didn't buy the rights to Buck Rogers. He doesn't own futures in disarray trope. Okay. Fair enough. We'll be ending it soon, guys. But I just I wanted to get this out and wanted to know your guys' opinions and where you thought they were going with it. Um, I, I I'm on the fence. I do think it could just be lazy, but they I wouldn't be surprised if they just said, you know what, it doesn't because the a lot of here's the thing. It could be I'm trying to look at this from my point of view. It could be that just me being a part of YouTube, but it feels like a lot of people just complain about it. So they may just do it just to stop the complaints. But again, that could just be my interpretation of it. I wonder if they might ever do an adaptation of the memory Omega arc from the novels. It's possible. By the way, I haven't forgot about, forgot about that video. I owe you. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Okay. Check has been check marking since the original series. I, I would disagree. SC. I think that there was more sincere attempts uh, in the original series, in the next generation, DS9 kind of checkmarked and on. I think we were we were suffering a crazy trend of taking good folk religions and butchering them during the Voyager's production era. There was a lot we were doing wrong. I think um, it was probably where we needed to move because you know a, a lot of people get upset. A lot of people don't understand, but I generally 
try to keep my opinions based on the topic, not necessarily uh, a leaning. Uh, so I do think some of the movements that we've had in television and movies is positive. I, I sincerely think it uh, is. But to get there, we had to go through this weird period where people just wanted to try to check marks it or try to put it up there, but they didn't know how to do it respectfully. You know, I don't know. Personally, I hope they have realized the fans are their bread and butter, but it's more likely just a bait and switch. I don't think, I, I think it's either a bait and switch or they're just removing it. I don't, I don't know how much fans are, you know, I don't know. One of three, one laziness, two clickbait, three something we're not aware of in the background. I mean, maybe Darth Revan. I haven't seen you in a while, Darth Revan. I hope you're doing well, by the way, buddy. All right, so we're going to be ending it shortly. You guys have anything else you want to add? I hope this added some value. Uh, just to end it where we started it. Uh, today there was a video released by Star Trek, uh, by CBS, by Paramount, that uh, is the canon timeline of Star Trek. Uh, there is a to be continued at the end today, but uh, at the end of the video, but this is considered the canon of, of Star Trek right here. If you take a look at it now, if you notice, there's no discovery that said, uh, in the museum, this is what they had possibly still have with discovery included. So there may have been something that changed or something they're trying to work through, but either they removed it completely or someone may have gotten lazy or it could just be a marketing ploy. You know, you never know. Sulu and Hora, we didn't even know their first names until the movies. Okay. I didn't know that. You know, you may be right there. I never even thought about that. Huh. I am a good man. Good to see you. Oh, good. They should reveal Burnham is an undercover Q. They should. They should. Save the clickbait. It's said to be continued. Um. Yeah, I just, I don't know that that means a lot, though. I don't know. I hope this adds something, guys. Definitely check in the description. Go take a look at it for yourself. Uh, let me know. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Guys, I'm going to see you on the next. Lore Reloaded.